Welcome to the Diet Starts Never podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Nigro, aka Coach Rach. This podcast will teach you how to live your healthiest life in and out of the gym and put yourself first again. Oh, and we get long lasting results here. I've made it my mission to help my clients ditch the diet mentality and heal their relationship with food and themselves. After transforming hundreds of bodies and minds, it's your turn. Are you ready? Hey guys, welcome to episode seven. Um, My episodes are a little bit thrown off right now. You know, I was sick and I've been launching a new program and life is crazy. So I had a little bit trouble catching up, but we're here now. I want to talk about this new program quick because it was actually influenced by this podcast to help you lose fat for good while healing your relationship with food and yourself. Kind of exactly what I talk about in all of these episodes. So I want you guys to close your eyes for a second and imagine if you had a step-by-step plan to get you the body of your dreams. You were able to go out on the weekends and enjoy holidays without regretting every single moment of eating. You knew exactly what you needed to do to live a healthy, balanced life. You finally got the results you've wanted and learned how to maintain them. And you love everything you see when you look in the mirror from the inside out and out. Like you literally put on a pair of jeans and you're like, holy shit, I look so good. I feel so good. You know what? I think my jeans are actually a little bit big on me. (laughs) So this is all in reach for you. Now, let me, let me know if this sounds like you. You might eat super healthy and work out super hard, but you see zero results. You've tried a million diets, but the results never stick. You hate the idea of getting dressed to go out um, you don't, because you don't feel comfortable in any of your clothes. And you're afraid of overindulging and you're afraid of waking up the next day and saying, I'm so mad at myself and then feel the need to go do hours of cardio and just eat salads. Ugh, boring. Um, you have absolutely no idea what to do to lose weight and you're ready to explode from frustration. Or maybe you've even spent like hours Googling quick fix diets, ways to find motivation, how to lose weight fast, how to lose 10 pounds in one week, what are the best exercises to lose belly fat, how to lose belly fat for good, and so on. Because I've totally been there. Like high school me like was literally Googling all of that. So first of all, I need you to know that you're not alone. I struggled with my body and self-confidence for the majority of my life. I used to cry every single time I got dressed because I hated how I looked in my clothes and I was so unhappy with myself. Like I would literally not even go out because after spending like over an hour trying to get dressed because I was so, I was so embarrassed with how I looked, but that it just all came down to how I looked at myself, which looking back at it now, I was beautiful and I was over exaggerating everything. But when you're in that negative mindset, you don't see that. So that's why I'm a health and fitness coach, because I've been there, I've experienced the pain, and I want to show you that you can have so much better for yourself. The Diet Starts Never program is not only my most affordable program ever, but it is an accelerated six-week program that teaches you how to get healthier than ever through customized fitness and nutrition coaching, so you can finally get the results you've been chasing your entire life. So basically, it's a program that will help you ever help you execute, excuse me, everything I teach in this podcast with me as your coach, paving the entire path for you. I'll provide you a restriction-free macro plan, easy to follow workouts, educational guides, and live coaching calls to educate you on all things sustainable health and fitness, plus messaging access to me, which I will be your greatest asset on this journey and in this program. If you related to any of this, you are in the right place, not only for my program, um, which is going to help you change your life, but for this episode, it's going to be an eye opener. I have spent years learning what works and I've made it my job to show you how to do the same. I have the solution you've been searching for and I've been helping my clients get the results you've been wanting. I'm not even kidding you guys. Like Every single day I get messages from my clients telling me things like, holy shit, my pants are too big on me. I'm proud of myself. The scale doesn't matter. I don't even care what the scale says. My progress photos look so amazing. My stomach is smaller. My booty is bigger. Ooh, ooh. thank you for helping me get my body back and you've changed my life. I'm here to help you get the same results and say the same things. So let's get into this topic 
of motivation today. Motivation won't get you shit. I am all about the tough love because let's be real, you're not going to give it to yourself. You're struggling and making excuses like, I don't have time or I don't deserve this goal or even blaming your lack of results on others. The blame game is over. No one else is ruining your progress but yourself and you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. Motivation isn't going to just appear out of nowhere. You need an alternate solution and that is discipline. People often think that discipline and motivation are interchangeable, but in fact, they are very different. Motivation has two parts to it. The first is a feeling. Motivation is a feeling or desire to do something. You know, when you're scrolling through Instagram and you see a fitness influencer with the body of your dreams, you might feel like a sudden inspiration or willingness to go work out or eat something a little bit cleaner. The second part of motivation includes your why or the reasons behind why you've set your personal goals. Discipline, on the other hand, is action. It's not just feeling motivated or remembering your why or getting a quick magic wand of fairy dust spilt over you. It's getting out there and doing it. Self-discipline is defined as the ability to control yourself and make yourself work hard or behave in a particular way without needing anyone else to tell you what to do. It all comes from within. So in other words, self-discipline is a commitment to yourself and it involves following through on that commitment even when it's hard. Motivation is fleeting. It may be high one second and drop the next. It comes and goes. But discipline, that's the shit that keeps you going when motivation runs out. Think of of it like motivation gets you going discipline keeps you growing discipline works like this you don't want to work out too fucking bad i'm doing it anyway hit your macros already but feel like snacking because you're bored absolutely not i already hit my goal for the day and i know if i go over that that's not going to help me reach my long-term goal it's raining on a sunday and i don't want to go to the food store (laughs) well that sucks we're going anyway because this is how you chose to live your life Discipline helps you live the life you want to live in moments of weakness. It helps you maintain a healthy routine and habits. It helps you build the body you've you've always wanted, and it makes it so you don't need anything to motivate you. If something motivates you, that's a bonus because your discipline has already got it covered. When motivation sparks, let's use it as a booster. Like you're playing Super Mario and just got a mushroom, a super mushroom. But the super mushroom will only get you so far. You can only be that large for um, for a limited amount of time. You still have to survive when that power up powers down. So learn how to power up on your own. And that's how you're going to be successful at anything you do, not just in health and fitness. I truly think discipline goes hand in hand with consistency. You can't, you kind of can't have one without the other because what's the point of being disciplined for one moment? Nothing. You need to practice that discipline over and over again through consistency. Consistency is arguably the most important component when working to accomplish goals in or out of the gym. Without consistency, programs are unorganized. The body has a harder time adapting and forming habits may be more challenging There is a 0% chance of reaching a fitness goal if you're not consistent. That's why you see so many workout programs with the same workouts every week because your muscles need that consistency of repetition to grow and change. You need to hit your macros consistently. You need to give your body the same nutrition, the same calories in versus out consistently to lose fat and vice versa if you want to grow and gain a significant amount of muscle. Disciplines repeated with consistency every day lead to great achievements gained slowly every time and over time. Dreams get you started, but your actions, consistency, and discipline are what get results. I always tell my clients that a dream is just a dream if it's not written. If you have a goal, write it down. Plan out how you're going to get there. If you don't have a plan, you're going to fail. So I want to give you guys some steps to build discipline in health and fitness. Three steps. Number one, master your why. While your motivation will come and go, it is still a big part of your discipline. 
Mastering your why will be helpful in those days that you're feeling low. Look back to why you started and use that to fuel you when you're not feeling it. Sit down, just like I spoke about above. What workouts are you going to do to make this happen? We need to create that game plan. You need a progressive workout plan. What are you going to do when you hit a wall? What are you going to do when those 10 pound weights begin to feel easy? How are you going to progress from there? How are you going to continue to change? How are you going to eat to reach this goal? What's your nutrition going to be like? I'll tell you right now, you cannot just win your nutrition and eat as you go. A nutrition plan is necessary, especially because results are 80% nutrition. You cannot out-train a bad diet. Nutrition comes first, fitness comes second. What are you going to do when you hit a bump in the road? How will you know when you reached your goal? What will it feel like? What will it look like? What will you look like? How will you feel when you've reached this goal? Write down every single detail and create your life. Manifest the fucking shit out of your dream life. I do it every single day. I make a very clear picture of what I want for myself. And guess what? I have it because I've taken the time to sit down and write it out to create that game plan. I know exactly how I'm going to get there and I know exactly what I'm going to do if there's a bump in the road. Start living your life like you already have it, like you already have that goal and the results will follow. But you will be so much more disciplined along the way when you know exactly what you need to do. All right, next, eliminate those excuses. Excuses are the enemy of discipline. While many times they are valid, Maybe not. (laughs) They get in the way of us truly reaching our best potential. To stick to our goals, we want to eliminate as many excuses as possible. Get an early start. Plan, plan, plan. Schedule it in. Stop blaming others for your failure. Stop blaming time or that you're busy or that you work a lot. Like we all do. We're all busy, man. There are the same amount of hours in every single person's day. And the difference between the the ones who fail and the ones who flourish is their mindset. The ones succeeding are disciplined and don't take shit. They do not let their excuses take over. They do not become their excuses. They are progressive and they make change. Be that person. Nobody else is going to help you change your life but yourself. All right, number three. Let's be realistic. So if something is unrealistic, being disciplined is going to be pointless because you're not going to reach that goal anyway. So like we all know by now not to set crazy goals in a short period of time. So don't set a goal of losing 10 pounds in one week. Slow and steady wins the race. 0.5 to 2 pounds per week is realistic and sustainable. If you're setting yourself up for failure, you're going to fail. You can't be disciplined if your game plan doesn't make sense if it's something that's going to fail. So I think setting a weight loss goal combined with time is setting yourself up for failure. Create a plan that's going to get you towards it. Don't put a time limit on that plan because let's be real. Health and fitness does not have a time limit. That shit's for life. Okay, so I'm ending this episode by saying the thing that no one wants to hear. If you have not done it on your own already, you are never going to. There's no diet or magic tea that's going to get you results. Yes, discipline is necessary, but like I just said, if you don't have a plan to follow and be disciplined to, you're going to continue to fail over and over again. Stop looking for the quick fix and invest in your health already. Think about how much money you spend on Starbucks, Amazon, shopping trips to Target for silly things you don't need, or better yet, how much money have you spent on things that you think are going to make you skinny but have just made it worse? Let's take it a step further in the future when you have an underlying health disease because you didn't take care of your body and you ate like shit for 20 years. How expensive are those hospital bills going to be? How much misery are you going to put your family through when you're sick in 20 years? Do it now. Without your health, you literally have nothing. Are you really going to let a couple hundred bucks now that you probably spend on bullshit things every every month anyway, stop you from living a life that is filled with happiness and success and health. Don't let your life flash before your eyes and, and be filled with regret. Change takes time. Stop saying you'll start again Monday or next week or after the holidays and just start now already. 
sorry, not sorry for the tough love. My job as your coach is to push you outside of your comfort zone so you can make change. The Diet Starts Never program enrollment closes Friday, September 16th. If you're listening to this episode when it aired, that's only four days away. Join my program, get a foolproof, sustainable game plan with a coach that gets results. Hey, that's me. We'll lose fat for good. You'll create pure happiness. You'll learn how to be disciplined as fuck and you'll be unapologetically selfish. The link is linked on my Instagram. I'm going to link it in the podcast notes as well. Or you can go to racheljoecoaching.com slash diet starts never program. You deserve it all. Have an amazing day, guys.